This tutorial is going to go over how to create unique shapes as well as use the custom shapes that are in the default library of Fab Lab Model Maker. To begin with, go to the very top and choose Tools, Standard, and this will load a standard collection of tools if this is not already selected. You'll notice a number of different tools appeared throughout the screen of Fab Lab Model Maker, including additional shapes right below the basic shape collection. These new tools, you'll see a small upside down triangle right beneath the tools. These little upside down triangles allow you to choose from a number of different selections that you can then click on, move to the 3D area, click and hold and drag up to create a unique shape from the shape library. I'm going to delete this shape and how I delete a shape is by right clicking on the shape and choosing cut. Now I'm going to show you the custom shape library that is within Fab Lab Model Maker. Click on the quick shapes button that looks like a little folder icon a new palette appears. You can choose from the default shape palette collection that's right here or you can also come up into street models. Street models contains folders of houses and vehicles. For this tutorial I'm going to click on the houses button and then I can drag and drop these already custom created shapes and shape nets to the 3D area. You'll notice when I drag and drop the shape net is automatically created. I'm going to click the auto arrange nets to auto arrange the nets on two sheets of paper. Those are the unique shapes as well as the custom shapes in Fab Lab Model Maker.